Three workers working together need one hour to construct a wall. The first worker working alone can construct a wall twice as fast as the third worker and complete the task an hour sooner than the second worker. And the average time in hours taken by the three workers when working alone to construct the wall is okay. First of all, the simple work time question, it sounds uh, very doable. I would jump on it, but I hate the choices. This is, this is root 33 and all that. So there's something funny about this question. Straight away, I'm not liking this question because of this. So it should be savvy. It's a competitive exam. Right? But let, we, we are practicing here. So let's dive in. From an exam point of view, I might skip this and come back later on. But right now, we're going to solve this. The first worker working alone can contract the wall twice as fast as the third worker. So worker one is twice as quick as the third worker. So I'm going to say worker one completes it in n hours. And worker three will take two n hours. The number of hours. And, and can the worker one can complete the task an hour sooner than the second worker. But worker two takes n plus one hour. Now we need we have one more one more piece of information. When all three of them work together, the entire task can be done in one hour. And then we want to find the average time in hours taken by the three workers when working alone to construct the wall. So we want the average of n, n plus 1 and 2n. What do we know? We know that all three of them put together can complete this in one hour. And so what gets done in, in one hour? In one hour, worker 1 will do 1 by n of the task. Worker 2 will do 1 by n plus 1 of the task. Worker 3 will do 1 by 2n of the task. Between them, they complete the entire task. Or we have this wonderful equation. 1 by n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus 1 by 2n equal to 1. And what do we need to find out? We need to find out average of n, n plus 1 and 2n. Or we need to find out this plus this plus this by 3. 2n, 3n, 4n. So we, what we want to find out is 4n plus 1 divided by 3. This is what we need to find out. What we know is this. Let's simplify this. We can call this 2 by 2n. So we have 3 by 2n plus 1 by n plus 1 equal to 1. Let's take the LCM and simplify. I'm going to go to the next step. 3 times n plus 1 plus 2n. 3 times n plus 1 plus 2n divided by 2n into n plus 1 is equal to 1 or 3n plus 3 plus 2n equals 2n square plus 2n the 2n disappears we have 2n square minus 3n minus 3 is equal to 0 straight away this one doesn't get factorized and we kind of knew it won't get factorized by just looking at this number so we're going to have to resort to completion of squares so i'm going to think of this as n square minus 3 by 2 n equals 3 by 2 i'm taking this minus 3 this side calling it as 3 and then dividing by 2 why because dealing with n square is easier and so 3 by 2 n we know a minus b whole square is a square minus 2 a b plus b square so 2a should be minus 3 by 2 or we are thinking about minus 3 by 4 whole square. So n square minus 3 by 2n plus 3 by 4 whole square equals 3 by 2 plus 3 by 4 whole square. Or this is 3 by 2 plus 9 by 16 or 3 by 2 is LCM is 16. 3 to 8 is 24 plus 9 by 16 or 33 by 16. Fine. n minus 3 by 4 whole square is 33 by 16. Lovely. I like 33 by 16. You know why? Because this means n minus 3 by 4 is going to be plus or minus root 33 by 4 root 16. Why do I like root 33? This or n equals 3 by 4 plus or minus square root of 33 by 4. Straight away it cannot be minus and n will become negative that we can rule out. It is 3 by 4 plus root 33 by 4 or n is 3 plus root 33 
by 4. What do we want to find? We want to find the average of those three things. We want to find 4n plus 1 by 3, which is good. So 4n plus 1 by 3. So this into 4 plus 1 by 3. Into 4 is lovely because the 4 will get wet cancelled. So I'm going to simplify that 3 plus root 33 by 4. 3 plus root 33 by 4. This is n into 4 plus 1 divided by 3. This goes off or we have root 33 plus 4 by 3 which is this choice. And the, 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 the algebra of it is a pain you have to think about completion of square theory. Be careful about n. We need to manipulate it slowly but conceptually not that difficult. Work time is not a conceptually tough topic.